everyone, this is Providencia. I am making two recipes today, but it will be in two different videos. Um, so this video is gonna be on my yuca al aljillo. Um, I will write down what it is in English when I am finished with this video because I don't know how to say it in English, but it is a ca um, cassava, I don't know if I'm saying it right, recipe. I just know how to say it in Spanish, yuca. All right, so if, you know, the Spanish people know what yuca is. Yuca is this, which is cassava. And I'm gonna make this, so let's get started on everything that we have here to make it. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to cut the camera off. You know what it's like to have kids. Um, so let me show you everything that I got here. Um, this is yuca, which I will write down in English what it is when I'm editing this video. Um, this is red pepper, yellow pepper, and a red onion. Me personally, I think these veggies work best with this recipe if you do have a green pepper you can add it but i just think it's much better with these three all right because it's like a sweeter taste to it um this is eggs we need to boil some eggs i will show you that as well i got some black pepper um oh wait a minute hold on i already see that i did something wrong i got the black pepper hold on a minute Okay, Whew, my apologies, I'm telling you, um, yeah, um, got a little bad news today, so I'm, you know, not really thinking well, but I was like, you know what, to hell with it, I'm going to do a video, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep my head up, so it's all good, so um, yeah, so anyway, so it ain't black pepper, I'm going to eliminate this out, I mean, if you don't have whole black peppers like this, then you know what? By all means, use the regular black pepper. So I'm using it like this. And I'm probably going to crush it a little bit. Goodbye. I'm probably going to crush it a little bit. But I'm going to try to leave some of them whole. Okay? So I will show you that as well. I got some extra virgin olive oil. I got garlic cloves. I got salt. To the back, I got white vinegar. And I have here some fresh cilantro, all right? And that's all you need to make this recipe. Simple, all right? Um, so let me tell you what you need to do next. And let this, let's get this rolling. Okay, so for now, I do have a pot of boiling water. I added some salt to it, not too much. And I am going to cut this take out the shells to it and we're gonna boil this in pieces and i will show you how to do that um so i'm gonna try to go back and forth with like cameras here so you'll be seeing clear footages and then regular footages with my other camera um when i feel like i need the stand i'm gonna use it if i feel like i can use the the eye touch to record some parts I will so um, I'm gonna cut this up I'm gonna show you how to do it and I'm gonna use the camera stand for that so we're gonna start doing the recipe do this recipe from start to finish the way I'm showing you in this video okay let's work with this baby because this is a biggie um okay so this is very complicated to you know to cut but this is a yuca which is cassava or oh, however I'm saying it right I know how to say Spanish and this is like kind of like wax okay let me just show it to the people that don't know okay it's kind of like wax okay another thing they do sell these frozen you know peeled and everything for you so if you want to do it frozen you can just try not to overcook it because don't make it be like don't leave it there for a real long time and then it looks like mashed potatoes okay you don't want to do that so i will let you know how long i'm cooking mine 
and then I'll give you like an approximate time but then again it all depends on how big this is okay so like I always say look at the texture and everything that I'm doing because I eyeball everything so let's see how I can do this and I will fast forward if it's too long the struggle is real up in here <laughs> So we're going to throw this away. And we're going to throw this away. And I got two different knives because I'm trying to like, I got something like this. I got something like this. <laughs> and be careful with your fingers, my lord. Be careful. <laughs> okay, and with... All right. That's why I say to be careful with your fingers, I'm telling you. I'm not only making this really for me. I'm gonna make sure that it lasts a couple, like at least a day, or like two days or three days. Because nobody in my family likes this. Um, try to do it in this order, you know. You could cut it whichever way you want, but it's better this way. Please be careful with your fingers. Please, I'm begging y'all. Hands away. Put your hands like that. You don't want to cut yourself. All right. Oh my goodness, I just realized I'm showing you like my, my band-aid. Okay. Whew, that was a workout. All right, so what to do next? How to cut this? You could either do it whole and use a peeler, potato peeler. It's gonna be a little struggle, but you could do it all in one shot. I choose to do it like this because I try to do it a little easier which is and i got this to put it in there sometimes you could just peel it off very careful with your finger guys I'm gonna do one more on camera and then I'm gonna show you how it looks after they all peel. So I'm gonna do one more just to show it to you. Like with a little knife. Be very careful with your fingers, no need to rush. Okay. I hope I don't cut myself trying to show it to you guys. <laughs> all right. Very careful with your fingers, okay? I'm just trying to show it to you, so I'm taking a nice big risk. Okay. You know, just try to mess with it, try to peel it. Sometimes they peel off, sometimes you gotta do it yourself. Okay. Just like this. You could cut them a little smaller, but this is the size that I want, okay? So I'm gonna do the rest off camera and I'm gonna rinse it out with water because, you know, you gotta clean them out because, you know, they're dirty, kind of. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna rinse it out and put it in the water. And sometimes they do peel off. Okay, let me do the other one. This is the last one. See, you could tell they got like a little line right there. So you could just use your knife to help you out. And 
and there it is. <laughs> nice and beautiful. Now, yuca, I'm going to say yuca because that's the way I know it. But I'm going to put the English word in the bottom of my video so you know what I'm talking about. It usually comes like with this thing in the middle, like a string. This one doesn't have it. I guess this is probably the... I'm going to try to find one that does. There you go, this one. Okay. Comes out with something like... Wait a minute, I'm pulling it out. Alright, wait a minute. Because some parts of it has it, it depends, you know? You see that in the middle? It's like a string. You want to pull this out. Alright? Of your yuca. Now, if you want to eat it with this on and you don't care, you know, while it's cooked, you could, of course, you could remove it yourself while you're eating it and just pull it aside. I've done it. <laughs> but I'm just saying if you don't want to add this. Okay? So you want to check all of them to see if they have like this little... Let me, let me look for it again. Okay? All right, it's like a, I keep saying string. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know me, I got a funny way of explaining food. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like this, okay? Hold on. And this is why I don't do my nails, because this is why I do. <laughs> All right, look. It's like something like this. All right? When I get the proper name, instead of me calling it a string, <laughs> I will see if I can list it in the, in the video. Everything that I feel like I got to list in the video, I, you know, I always make captions, and I will do it. So, I'm going to rinse this out, all right, and put it in my boiling water. Okay, so here's my pot of boiling water. It's not boiling, boiling, because I had ended up putting it real low because you know I didn't want it to evaporate but I'm gonna put it back high um, so we're gonna add our cassava now let me explain something to you some people cut it into pieces and that's how they do this recipe some people do it differently everyone does a different recipe it's never the same all right so I don't want no criticism um, that's number one and um, I am going to add this and it's probably going to take me a little longer than most time because I'm not cutting it. I'm sorry you're hearing noise. My window is open. <laughs> so let it go by. There's an ambulance. Okay. Alrighty then, let's get back to work. Um, so yeah, um... It'll probably take a little longer considering that I didn't cut it into pieces. This is the size I'm using. So, it depends. If you see how I did it like moon shape like, if you want to cut this in half, you know, then you could do it in half. But I'm using, I'm doing it like that, half moon sizes. And I will let you know how long I leave it there for. And... How long I had it because when I eat it it's gonna and when I mix everything up like the vegetables you'll see what I mean you're gonna see that not for nothing it's probably gonna break into little pieces anyway so that's why I'm leaving it like this okay so I got it on high now let me see what time it is okay well listen I'm gonna look at the time I'm gonna time this and I'll let you know how long I left mine but like I said it all depends if you buy a small one it'll probably less it'll probably be less time if you buy a big one like I did it'll probably be more time if you cut it into pieces it'll probably be longer time if you do it like this or you know I mean short time if you do it like this it'll probably be longer it all depends so I'm gonna show you at least the texture of what you're looking for and more or less, I hope that you take that tip when, if you decide to do this recipe. Um, I'm going to start doing, what should I start doing now? I don't know if I should start doing the vegetable. I'm just going to cut the vegetables, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to wait until this cooks a little bit more. And we'll be back. So I have here cilantro, red onions red pepper and 
yellow pepper now like I said if you whatever you have on hand any pepper you want to use the green one or you want to use yellow onions white onions Spanish onions it don't make a difference shallots whatever you want whatever you want to do it with you could definitely do this if you don't have cilantro then use fresh parsley that's okay too but I think all of this really makes it taste really good um, especially especially the onion and the peppers all right because you know they're more like a sweeter taste so you want to use what I have here um, I'm gonna cut them up and I'll show you how they look like Okay, so here's the plate with all the veggies. I am gonna fast forward the part that I am cutting the veggies, but I wanted you to get an idea of how you wanna cut them. I mean, I, mean, I shouldn't be bossy and be like, you should cut them this way. It's however you wanna cut them, but this is the way I'm gonna cut them. Nice long strips. And I did cut the onion in half. And I cut them like this. And I chopped my cilantro so i'm gonna put that aside and i'm gonna show you how to do the garlic and the pepper corns next okay so we have our garlic depends how many garlic do you want i like a lot of garlic <laughs> so i am going to use for this recipe a nice amount maybe five yeah put the clock I don't even know how long yeah like five you know what I'll take these two little skimpy ones um, and I'll put five you know sorry you hear the beeping my son's trying to put the timing the time on the microwave I had unplugged it and I got this now of course you could use a belong but I don't have one. I got robbed for mine. Someone borrowed it probably and never returned it back. But I got no, I gotta buy one. And alright. You see these little things? You wanna go in with a little knife, remove it. So yeah, I have to get a new pilon. I'm dying to make mofongo with camarones. Oh my god. But you need to be long for that. I mean, there's other ways you could do it though. <laughs> but I want to be long for that. It makes your mofongo nice and molded. So I will be making that recipe on my channel too. With the camarones. Mm -mm. Shrimps. In case nobody knows what camarones is. And this is my garlic. And this is how I'm going to do it. So in case you don't have no pilong. Which I think in English is called a pesto. I'm not sure. Like I said, I always write notes on my videos. If I'm saying it wrong, I'll definitely, definitely write what it, what I'm talking about. <laughs> a bag. Like a Ziploc bag. I've even done, done it with shopping bags. Yep. <laughs> and you want to bang it. I have this. This is a meat tenderizer for you could, you know, flatten it out or do it this way. So... I'm gonna do it this way. I'll fast forward though. Shake up the bag a little bit because you want the, the garlic to go in the bottom and look. Yep, that's the way I do mine. So when I do my totones, my, my plantains with my garlic, this is how I do my garlic. <laughs> so I am going to put it on the plate. Take it out of the bag and put it in the plate with the rest of the veggies. And I'm also going to show you how I'm going to do the peppercorns. Okay, 
Okay, so I got my peppercorns here. Like I said, it depends on how much you want to add to your yuca. But I'm going to be honest with you. Whole peppers are more stronger than, let's say, this kind of pepper, which is pure ground. Okay? And it's going to leave a really strong peppery taste. So you don't want to add too much, you know? I'm only going to add a few. So I don't want too much either. Oh, some of them fell. Oh, there you go. So I got like this much, for you to see. Not too much, all right? And I'm just gonna smash it just a little bit. So as you can see, even though you can't really see it because I banged it here, it's a little crushed, but it's also kind of big pieces, okay? All right, and that's how much I'm gonna add to the recipe. And um, I'm going to start boiling the eggs next. I will show you why we need to boil eggs. I will show you that next. I got three eggs here. And when you boil your eggs, you want to start off with cold water first. All right, don't boil the water and then throw it in there. No. You know, you want it to all cook at the same time. You know, I usually cook my eggs for like four to five minutes then I turn it off and put it in the cold water for at least another five minutes because it helps the shelves the eggshells come out very easily if you run it in very cold water so you want to do that so I'm gonna turn this on and leave it there for like I said five minutes Okay, so this has been boiling for like at least seven minutes. I'm going to check up on it to see how it looks. And with a fork, I'm going to test it out to see if it's the consistency that I want. All right. told you they're going to break apart. <laughs> um, yep. Just maybe a little bit more. You see it's a little white here. I'm going to leave this here for maybe another, hmm, let's say another, maybe three more minutes more. See, I told you they're going to break apart. That's why I didn't even bother to break it apart. I did it in, like, in this size because I know they're going to break apart. Exactly what I was saying. And look, it's almost done. You see that color? Like that yellowish kind of color? It's almost done. And I'm going to go and um, leave this on for another three minutes maybe. Yeah, three minutes. Turn it off. Drain it out. Put it in like a nice dish. And while this is being done, quickly let's do the sauce to this. So we got my pan. Also... You don't want to put this on too high. When I start it off low, maybe put it just a little tad high, you know, for the veggies could get a little, you know, I'll show you. But don't put this high. This is really like, yeah. You know what? I'm going to leave. I'm going to turn this off again. I'm so sorry. I know I'm just like bugging out right now. I'm going to take the yuca out of the boiling water. Um, look at it more or less because I got to add a certain amount of olive oil and I don't want to add a certain amount of olive oil here, right? And it'll be too much for that. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to, I'm going to take that out, look at it more or less and know more or less how much olive oil it needs. So I will be right back. I apologize. Okay, so I got my dish here. You want a nice dish like this? I'm not too sure if it's too big, but <laughs> forget it. I'm not going to go and try to combine sizes as long as it's all combined together. So, I got this. Hold on. And I'm going to drain out my yuca. And I did taste it a piece. It tastes really good. Okay. 
I don't want to burn myself. Be careful, you guys, please. When you're cutting this, when you're draining out the water, you know? Don't want to hurt yourself. Put this back. I'll clean it in a minute. Okay. I'm going to show you. Uh, the reason why I'm showing you this is because I'm showing you. I want to show you how it looks like. You know, like when it's done. Some people, they over, over cook it. I mean, overall, I think I cooked this like maybe 12 minutes. Okay? Some people, they cook it for <laughs> a very long time. And that's okay because sometimes I do like it overcooked. But for this recipe, I think it works fine like this. So, try to drain out all the water. This is an ugly one, so let's turn that around, but I'll still eat it. <laughs> okay, look, for an example, I left one on. See that? When you eat it, you could just pull it out like nothing, but it's good to remove it afterwards. I did left some of them there, I ain't gonna lie. And this is a good dish, <laughs> good size for everything that I have here. And you see how you want it like this? It's still a little mushy, but it's a little whole. And this is what you want, okay? So, um, I'm gonna put this on top of the table for now. I'm not gonna put it in the refrigerator because what I'm gonna do now only takes like maybe three to five minutes. So, we'll be back. Okay, so, back to the pot. I didn't wanna like, I didn't want to do this first because then I thought I was like, you know what? I don't, I, since I eyeball everything, I go according to what, how I see it. You know, I always tell you guys I don't measure, which is something I'm, I want to work on this year for 2015. Because I would love to give y'all like straight measurements, but since I already know how to cook, I don't, you know, I, so anyway. I wanted to see how it was all laid out so I can know exactly how much olive oil I'm going to add to this. And you're going to have to add a lot because the olive oil helps it from being nice and moister into this dish. That's why use olive oil. Do not use no other oil. Olive oil is healthier in other words. So use olive oil. So let me get that now. And I... I'm gonna measure this. I can only or less how many cups I'm using. Like I said, I eyeball everything. I'm gonna start off with a cup. And I'm gonna look at it and see if it's enough. Hmm. It looks enough to me, but I'll probably add another half. So a cup and a half I used. And I know to you guys like a lot. So you'll see what I mean. And vinegar, I'm just gonna eyeball. Um, I'm gonna add. Hmm. Yeah, about that much. You don't want it to be too vinegary as well. Just a little bit more. There you go. And I got it on low. Got my salt here. All right. I got my peppers here as well. I'm going to add a little at a time first, like I always do, <laughs> to see how everything is looking. I'm going to add a lot of yellow, red. Definitely, I love this with really a lot of red onions. So I am going to add all of it. And a lot of cilantro. Alright, I still got a little bit more. Let's see how this goes. And I think I did a lot of garlic. Come to look at it now. I'm going to add half of the bag. 
and I could always save the other garlic for another recipe that I cook in my house with. And I don't know if you see it over here, but it's really started a tinkle. That's what I call it, tinkle. So you see my little cookie on it. <laughs> All right, where are you? And I am gonna add my crushed peppercorn. Didn't wanna add too much. And I'm gonna add some salt. I don't go crazy on the salt. If I feel like I want to add more salt, I'll taste it and I will add more salt when I'm about to eat it. But I'm just going to sprinkle some salt. Not too much. And I'm going to a spoon. Oh my goodness, I'm missing spoons. Hmm. Weird. Alright, so, oops. Oh my God, look at the beautiful, beautiful colors up in here. <laughs> this is some beautiful, beautiful color up in here. And the eggs are boiling back there. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this now a little, little high because you see right there? It's cooking a little bit, but I got it very low. So I'm gonna higher this up infuse all that flavor into the olive oil we're gonna put it on top of the yuca and we're gonna put the eggs around it for garnish okay so um starting to do its thing this is really a very simple simple dish i'm gonna add more red peppers though for some reason you know what I'm just going to add everything. Why not? <laughs> okay. Okay, so the memory card is full to my camera. <laughs> so anyway, I'm using my um, iPhone. And uh, you're going to let this cook. Well, yeah. Or infuse, like I call it. Um, for at least like three to four minutes put it low okay and I'm gonna have my son watching it while I put everything that I just recorded from my memory card into my laptop so I will be right back look at that mm -hmm. Um, I had to delete everything that was in my memory card, put it into my laptop, and it just... But anyway, really leave it there for like at least three three minutes, okay? But let me go over here. Alright, this is cool down, and it looks funny, I know. But when we add everything, it should be good. It's just that it's been here all this time. So I'm going to add all of this all this juice okay hold on oh my god you don't know how good that smells right there <laughs> i swear to god let me stop swearing god people don't like that all right so just trying to make it pretty because knowing me, I got to take a picture afterwards. Alright. And I'm going to also show you how you serve this on a dish. Right now, I'm just showing you how it looks on a casserole dish. You want to drizzle all of that on top of the yuca. I'm going to put the eggs there. Then I'm going to show you how it looks on a plate. And we should be done. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my eggs peeling. Wanted to show it to you. And, um, wanted to show you. All right, see this? Just wanted to show it. Look at that pretty, beautiful egg. Okay? It doesn't have a ring inside. I didn't overcook it. This is beautiful right here. All right? 
And the reason why I'm showing you this is because do what I say. Cook the eggs for five, boil the eggs for five minutes, turn it off. You know, if you want to let it sit for like a minute or two, fine, but make sure it's off and then put it in cold water. Don't cook the eggs, don't boil the eggs at least no more than five minutes. All right, because you're gonna overcook your eggs. And I'm just gonna put them here, like on the edges, just to make it look pretty. Let me move this a little bit for it could. Mm. It really is good, I'm telling you. Put a little pepper in there. Put some of pepper in here, cause I'm about to take a picture and it gotta always look pretty. Mm -hmm. And there it is. This is how you wanna serve it on a plate. Now I'm gonna take a picture then I'm gonna show you how it's supposed to be served. Okay, so I put it on a plate. And this is the result. I did taste it a little bit and it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm gonna taste a little bit in front of you guys because I want a piece. All right, so make sure it breaks beautifully like that. And the point of the oil is for you to dip it in there <laughs> mm. So creamy. Let me get an onion. I mean, not an onion, a pepper. <laughs> mm. oh. This is so good. I gotta take another one. I'm sorry. Hold on. Mm -mm. Here's the funny thing, and I'm sorry to talk to with my mouth full. Okay. Mm. Here's the funny thing. I have to put this back in the casserole dish. I can't eat this now. I still got one more recipe to do for you guys, which is, <laughs> check this, pork chops with apples. That's right. You heard it right. Pork chops with apples, so you better check that video out so after this i'm gonna put this in the refrigerator even though I, this is not good served cold maybe a little not cold from the refrigerator it's, it's best to be served not hot not cold but like a little warm you know you know let me i'm sorry but if i'm not gonna eat this i might as well eat one more mmm <laughs> tastes so good oh my goodness Mmm. I'm gonna piece of egg too. Eggs is so perfect. Oh my goodness. Let me stop. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even gonna put it in the refrigerator. You know what? I'm gonna leave it on top of the table for it could be at least room temperature. Alright? And I'm about to do the pork chops, which will not be included in this video. You will need to go through my channel and check it out. If anything, I'll see if I could link it below. Or you could just go straight to it. Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Do this recipe. It's really, really good. And um, I got more recipes coming up for you guys very soon. I'm going to be giving you recipes all the time. So... If you're new and you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Take care and have a good week. Bye.